Hey, John here got this uh, stunningly gorgeous quilted Bubinga top um, Dingwall Z1. It's a uh, Z base with uh, five strings and it's fretless. It's a lined fretless and it looks like it's got an ebony contrast layer underneath the maple or the uh, Bubinga, but I'm not certain if that's a layer of ebony or if that's just black paint. The build sheet did not mention anything about ebony. It's got FD3 pickups and in the old original spacing and um, it's got a Glockenklein preamp with the series parallel switch on both pickups and then the middle switch selects the mid-range uh, frequency band low frequency or high frequency. <clears throat> so we'll run through a couple of uh, couple of tone demos here. Uh, first of all, I've got it on the uh, bridge pickup with a slight cut on the treble and a slight boost on the mids and the lows. kills it's outrageous like all the uh, 37 inch bees on the ding walls just awesome anyway um, here's position two <laughs>
just as easy as having the frets I don't really notice uh, too much bad intonation even though I've never really played this thing haven't gotten used to it at all but uh, but yet it's not difficult so for anybody who's scared of the uh, of the fretless thing I wouldn't be too worried about it it uh, it works pretty pretty well now without the lines that's another story that might be a little tough especially um, if you're going from fan fret to mono scale or back and forth um, the lines definitely would help, I would say, but um, I'm pretty comfortable on here, and uh, dare I say, with some practice, I'd, I'd probably be okay without them. But um, I go back and forth a lot between between lined and or between uh, mono scale and and uh, dingwall, so it definitely helps me. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the sound. Um, I love it. It sounds awesome. Have a good day. <laughs>